Well, good morning from Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. Here we have Argo the Wonder Dog. <laughs> I'm going to switch hands here. There we go. Ah, it is not warm. It's like 52 degrees. A little bit of a breeze. It's kind of kind of chilly. I kind of wish I'd put a coat on Argo, but we'll be walking with the wind here shortly. So then it won't be nearly as bad. But it's been interesting weather this weekend. And today is the 30th of June. Wow, it's almost July. <laughs> How is that possible? But as you can probably see through the fence, Argo the Wonder Dog Ooh. found us a ship, a big one. And this, of course, is the Edgar B. Spear from the Great Lakes Fleet. And they are headed downbound here into the Pollock. And they're facing into what looks like better weather than what's behind them, but uh, it's hard to say. Just one of the spears, I guess, identifying characteristics is it doesn't have a traditional unloading boom. It has those kind of those shortened belts. <clears throat> they can extend those over the side on either the port or starboard. But that means they can only unload in very few places. I was trying to look. They're bathed in great light right now. I see. They may already have the deckhands over. They pretty much are supposed to have deckhands over by the time they hit that that bullnose there. Uh, but definitely by the time they enter the lock chamber, which is just on the other side. I'll zoom out a little bit just to the right of that big control arm. This is why I often refer to them as moving buildings because they're bigger than a whole lot of buildings. Yeah, they're, I figured they would be so that pole, those poles you see there, I know there's a term, I still don't know what they are. Um, that is how they swing the bosun's chair over to get the, uh, the deck hands overboard to uh, then handle the lines and tie up the ship. And so they always use the north side of the Pollock to tie up to. So the deckhands always go over on the north side. But uh, we would have seen them swinging on that pole Good light. Let's see if I slowly want to check the Mac lock. 
That's really good scene right there. You can see the wind. I don't see anyone in the Mac lock, do you? Kind of hard with that pole with the life ring in the way. So yesterday, man, I recorded so many videos yesterday of ships. I got to figure out what to do with all of them. <laughs> uh, if I want to like po post them as separate, each one, which I'll probably do. There's just so many. Oh, sorry. It was a busy day here in the Sioux. And today's fixing to be another busy day. Uh, James R. Barker will be coming through a little later. It's uh, just after 7 o'clock here, about 7.15 probably. So I think they're going to be here in about two hours, two and a half hours. So this is Engineer's Day weekend. There's been a large crowd everywhere I've gone. <laughs> ship so I imagine there'll be a party down at Rotary Park with James R. Barker to come through because well, James R. Barker always starts a party. I like when you can see see through the wheelhouse, like you can see the people up there. And of course, they're on the uh, the north side there. Was that the port side? I think, because that's kind of the side they have to hug. And then just I have to remind myself of this: that ship is 105 feet wide. The lock is 110 feet wide. <laughs> Five feet of wiggle room is not a lot. Not a lot at all. So I'm gonna we're gonna call it there. Good boy is laying down. We found the ship. Can't believe it's darn near July. Just hours away from it. Try not to complain about my cold hand. <laughs> How weird. <laughs> How weird. I think we will finish up this walk. As always, I need coffee and we both need breakfast. Right, Argo? He was very popular down at Rotary Park, as he should be. I mean, when you have that kind of just raw talent and good looks, I mean, come on, it just only, only makes sense. <laughs> there we go. I think I'll end this right here. Have a great day. Stay warm. I'm saying that in June. Stay warm. <laughs> and Argo and I will be back most likely a little bit later. James R. Barker. <laughs>